Hello, my name is Jennifer Steinhardt, archivist for the National Museum of the American Sailor. And I'm Samantha Bellis, the collection manager. And welcome to Collections Conversations, where we discuss issues related to preservation and the history of the American listed sailor. Today, we're going to be discussing light and how it affects collections. Now, really, it is all light, but specifically, we're talking about ultraviolet radiation, which is what burns you when you go out in the sun without sunscreen. And really, it affects items, too. You may see like your couch is faded if it's in a sunny spot in your house, or that your artwork is becoming less and less vibrant over time. And really, that happens with archival collections, and there's many different ways that you can combat that. Correct. Here in the National Museum of the American Sailor, we tend to keep our items that are off exhibit in the dark. So we keep the lights in collection storage off. When items are on exhibit, on the other hand, we can't always keep them in the dark. It makes it a little hard to view them. So we're going to change out the lights and use LED lights, which are a lot safer for the objects, a lot less harsh. Than fluorescent lighting, they definitely produce a lot less UV, which is going to be better for the collection. Uh, we do have some examples here of items in our collection that have been affected by light. Some of them are photos of yeomen from World War One area. And if you noticed our uh, white gloves video, I am not wearing them because I have clean hands and I don't want to rip the photo. Sam, who is this lovely lady? So this is Lillian Hobb. She was a yeoman F during World War One, and she was from Racine, Wisconsin. So pretty local to us here at Great Lakes. And we just took her out of her frame. And you can see that there is a difference in color where it overlapped on the picture and it's just becoming lighter and lighter over time where it has been faded because it was on display. Correct. This was in what we would have called a dresser frame. So very common um, during the World War I period as like a memorial frame. And so, yeah, this would have been exposed to your daily light in your room or in your um, house. We also have another photo, I think, from Lillian's Also collection. from Lillian, yes. And it, again, is just the overall fading because it was displayed for a very long period of time. She also gave us a more recent picture, which is not terribly recent, but it wasn't displayed in the same way, and the colors are still very vibrant. Correct. So in this picture, um, if you want to hold that up, you can see Lillian's uniform is much darker um, and very crisp and clear. And while the other two photos are black and white, we would expect those uniforms to be a lot darker in the pictures. We do have uh, one more photo, and this is also World War I. Again, was on display for quite a long time. This is actually one of the stables that used to be here at Great Lakes. Uh, you can see that the base is still under construction all around the stable, and it does have quite a bit of light damage, especially towards one end of the photo. And it's not just photos that are affected by light. As it's we not. said, it's pretty much anything, and we have an example we here. We do. So while I don't have any um, jumpers that have light damage, because generally people don't store their jumpers out in the, in frames, I do have this little dog here. This is Dobby. Dobby is a little stuffed dog um, from Naval Training Center, Great Lakes. Here at Great Lakes and at Glenview Air Station, during World War II, we saw a great influx of staff, um, sailors, waves, all coming to the base. They also started making these cute little souvenirs. Um, Dobby here has a little bit of a problem. You can see that he looks kind of rough, um, but when we take off his little saddle here, you can really see the fact that he's light damaged. So you can see how vibrant blue he would have been um, on his face and on his tail region. And that's all from just being out on display. And yes, he's pretty well loved and used, um, but where that saddle sat, you can definitely see his original coloring. So we're not saying you can't display anything at all, but Absolutely not. there are different ways that you can protect items. One thing is if it's a photograph, maybe have a few prints made. And then when you put it in a frame, put some UV filtering glass, which will help block sometimes up to 95% of UV radiation. Correct. If you're a collector and you're really worried about everything in the room, you can even get UV film for your windows, which will also help block almost 95% of the UV coming in. Those are just uh, a few ideas on what light does to your collections and how to protect them. Correct. We hope you enjoyed our video, and as always, we'll see you next time.